Our demonstration today will take the form of Siebel Call Center and Siebel eFarmer Mobile connected and disconnected mode. This user has never logged in before, so this is the first time they will log in. So a certain amount of application cache will be downloaded. There was the green bar to show it. If I switch into the developer mode, we'll see that in the console, if we scroll down to the bottom, the application cache that has downloaded. When we look at the Resources tab and the WebSQL icon, we'll see that the local store has been created and a few items have been added. Very few have any data in them because at this stage, this user has never been offline. Now we're going to go offline. The green bar will appear a second time for significantly longer. Two things are being downloaded at this stage, metadata and any personal or enterprise level data that the user has the right to see. The icon indicates a download is in progress. When it's finished, the icon changes color and the page refreshes. I am now offline. If we go to our WebSQL icon again, we'll observe this time around that considerably more elements are present. This is the eFarmer application, so you will have noticed some eFarmer related objects. And in some of them, including, for example, pick maps, we now actually have uh, metadata or information in them. There is a particular one in here that uh, we'll illustrate in just a moment, which is the sync SYNC item. Now I'm offline, let's create a new account. This new account is an offline account. It doesn't exist in our live Siebel server database. I'll create that record and save it. It exists only offline. Notice the icon indicating that a synchronization is necessary to send that data to our server application. And if we go back to the data store, we'll see that the sync item now has one new record instruction within it, representing my new account. Clicking the icon, I'll go back online. We'll see the green bar again, and we'll have to log in again, but we will switch instead to Siebel Call Center. I'm going to go to the Accounts tab and verify that when I click on Accounts List that we now have the new offline account. Excellent. Returning to eFarmer Mobile, this time around we're going to perform a different kind of insert uh, with a modification. I'll go offline again. And for my offline account, we're going to add a contact. So I'm going to add, first of all, the contact. Should be easy enough to remember the name. I don't think I have any other required fields. Let's call him Mr. and give him a, that at least. I'll save the contact. I'll return to the account. Click the Account Contacts tab. click the new contact icon and I will look for Mr. Dalek and I will select him. So I've added him as an account contact to my new offline account. Once more returning to the developer tab if we go to the sync folder, we'll see a number of different instructions. The original one, which was the account, the creation of the contact, and then the farmer account contact view, and the update. So I've added the contact, selected the contact as an account contact, and then updated the account. I'll now close the developer window, go back online. If I can spell the password right. perform the synchronization, and switch once again to Siebel Call Center, go to my Accounts tab one more time, drill down on my new offline account, and observe that we now have a contact called Mr. Derek Dalek. Good job, Mobile Disco!